In this video, I'm going to show you a really, really fun little scheme here out of the gun empty bunch formation in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And I try to do that through posting different types of videos with schemes and strategies that you can use in your own game to become a better player in Madden. So that being said, we're going to dive right in here today. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet and research shows that only 60, uh, only 40% of you guys that are watching have subscribed, do me a favor right quick and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The reason why I want you to do that is so that you don't miss any of the videos that we do because we do about eight videos on YouTube every single day and I've been noticing that people have been missing videos um, and, they, and they miss some of the tips and strategies that we break down so anyways all that to say what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk a little bit about the Seattle Seahawks playbook and part of the reason I like this playbook um, so much and I'm actually considering switching to it I'm not ready to fully switch to it yet I'm still running run heavy but the reason why I like this playbook is because if you look at what it has, it has the gun bunch, which we all know how good gun bunch is. It has the gun bunch tied in, which is the offensive ebook that I just released, and it has two plays in it that are really important. It has PA boot over and it has curl flat corner. Those are my most important plays that I could possibly have out of the bunch tied in. So, you know, again, for those of you guys that have uh, picked up the ebook, it's amazing. It's the best offense, in my opinion, in the entire game. And those are the two key plays for the offense. Now, it doesn't have tight end corner. And tight end corner is like kind of a key play as well. So that's the one issue with Seattle. And only run heavy has all those plays in it. So for right now, that's why I'm in run heavy. But I'm considering switching to this. Anyway, all that to say, if you have not gotten the gun bunch tight end offense, that link is in the description of this video. Now, the other thing that it has in it is it has this bun uh, gun bunch open tight end which is another really good formation as you can see here I've uh, got a lot of good runs it has the RPO um, it has a couple different RPOs in it unfortunately it doesn't have the trap um, which they do have out of another playbook I think it's out of Carolina but a lot of good stuff but anyway all that to say they also have the empty bunch which I really really like this formation as well and I wanted to share with you a couple of plays that I think could be really, really effective for you uh, in Madden right now. So the first one is Z-Spot. Uh, we're going to talk about Z-Spot. We're going to talk about Z-Spot and go. We're going to talk a little bit about Curl Flat. Curl Flat's an amazing play. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Divide Wheel. Uh, those, are the, those are the key plays that I want to hit on today. Obviously, verticals and spacing are good. Um, they're just, you know, a lot of people know how to run those. Stick is another one of those plays that are really, really good. Uh, and again, a lot of people know how to run that. So, uh, anyway, all that to say, what we're going to do is probably come out into play stick. Um, and what you want to do when you run this offense is you want to make sure that your your bunch receivers are on the left hash mark. You don't want them to be on the right hash mark. Um, if they're on the right, if the ball is on the right hash mark, then flip the flip the formation. Okay. But what you'll notice here is this route to Antonio Brown on stick. If I motion this out, he should get separation to the outside, as you can see right there. It's a little double move route. It's really, really effective. Um, a lot of people don't realize this when you run this offense, but another thing that you can do out of this route, um, now I know press coverage does you know, kind of you know, do some good stuff for this, but if you take a look here at Brown, if I just snap the ball right here, you see, see this right here. Now, if he gets jammed, um, he still gets open. So this is a similar type of route to flood, the major difference being that it's a double move so that it, I think it gets a little bit better separation against man. Now, let me show you how it takes to Mabel coverage. A lot of us know uh, in the gun bunch that people like to run Mabel coverage onto the bunch side. So take a look at this. This is Mabel coverage on the bunch side. And what you see is it's that out route. So if that curl flat is shaded back at 20 yards, it's not going to stop it. So that's one of the things. You know, this is a play that I like to just quick snap. Um... You know, the one thing that I would recommend, I, I really like motioning this guy right here. And then what you'll notice here is I can, he basically becomes a tight end. So I can create a, a really effective little scheme right here because I can basically use this delay fade on the left side. Um, I can also, you know, I can also do some other things as well. So when I roll out, even if I roll out, so like if I do that, watch this. So if I roll out to the bunch side, so let's say that I, on the back side, I take Mike Evans and I put him on a, a post route. You know what I mean? Something like this right here. Um, this is my maybe this is my setup. What you'll notice here is if I if I roll out, 
right, and I release my guy, the same thing happens. The man coverage glitches out. So you don't just have to roll out to the left. You can roll out to the right, too, and it, and it works just fine. Now, what you could also do is, in a, in a perfect setting, like let's say you wanted to, let's say that, I, I think this is really good for like a max protect situation, but let's say that you, you know, you, you want to avoid getting blitzed at all costs, do this, you know, and then you basically have two blockers, and then if things break down, then you can, you can basically get them out, you know, into a route. Um, similarly, you could do something like, you know, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. I mean, it's, it's basically, you have two tight ends, you know, that's, that's practically, you know, what really means, but like, I like these little block and release crossers, um, that we can put these guys on, you know, different things like that. I find that that block and release cross route gets really, really good separation against man coverage. Um, one thing I don't know for sure, and we're going to test it right here on national live internet. Um, and, and it really comes down to, I wonder if you could take like a flat route, so, so, like, if I take Gronkowski, I put him on a streak, right? And then I'm going to take Brown, I'm going to put him on a curl. Evans is going to be on a curl. Everybody's on a curl, right? Um, and then I'm going to motion these guys in, and I'm going to put them on, on uh, block and release flat routes. See that right there? I want you to watch what happens here. Watch the flat. See how the flat doesn't go? I mean, he kind of covers the curl, but he doesn't really cover the curl. The hard flat will kind of, and that's, I think, critical, because really what that means is... You can pull zones and have blockers. Like, you, you can pull zones with these backs in the backfield. Or not these backs, but basically these tight ends here. And you don't even have to have a blocker. Look on both sides of this field. See that right there? The flat routes, the flat routes just, they just kind of hang out. So, my point is, that can be some, a tactic that you can use. You can use this tactic in a lot of different ways. Another thing you could do is, that, like, if I motion the tight end here to the left side, you see, same exact thing. He goes into a tight end position, and now I can do something, you know, like this right here. And, you know, these are just little things you can do out of this formation that I think make it really, really effective. Now, um, if you want to get my full scheme out of the bunch, text me. My number is in the description uh, of this video. But anyways, we're going to jump into another play here. So, uh, Z-Spot. Z-Spot, now the one thing that you have to realize, you see here with this Z-Spot route, unfortunately this corner route um, is not really the one that we want. Um, it's, it's, it's not the one that we want. We want a sharper one, and that's why we have the play curl flat. So this, but, but we, can take, we can still use this. So this is Z-Spot um, right here. And you notice that what we, you, you see the routes that we have in the field. So what we could do with the running back is, once again, we could put that running back on a, de a delay fade. Uh, I actually really like a delay fade in this situation. But basically what you'll notice here is this corner route um, will get in between the Mabel coverage. So they won't, even if they shade their, if, they, if they're someone that likes to shade their zones, this route will get open against that because, um, you know, they're not going to be able to do that. Now that's where I also really want to talk about um, this plays Z spot through the lens of a couple of things real quick here. So um, another thing again, I like to motion this this whip route in, and the reason why is let's say they're in man coverage and they're pressing right. Now this this little whip route is completely unbumpable. Almost always will beat man to man coverage. Almost always will beat man to man coverage if you use that whip route. So that's another little you know nugget about this offense. Another thing that I like to do. Um, is double drags here with these these two little H backs? You can do so much with this, but these double drags are a nightmare to defend. They're really hard to defend um, because they they normally get really good separation. Um, so you can use those as well. You know, I didn't talk about this during the stick concept, but let's say I wanted to do something like this. I could motion Godwin in. Now he's on a slant route. He's unbumpable. You know, there's just a lot that you can do uh, with this. So that's another little element uh, to this offense is this little motion over, put him into a tight end position, and now you're you're into a gun bunch. I think this makes a lot of uh, a lot of sense because if you watch here, you know you're gonna see that you know see how that crossing route still beats man even if he's a block and release route. But anyways, that's Z spot. Now the one thing I didn't t talk about was Z spot. This route to Mike Evans is very similar to the route from Flood, but I think it's a little bit deeper. You see, it's a really deep in route. So if they're running a lot of Mabel coverage, which they probably will be when they're play anyone that plays Gun Bunch, any type of any type of Gun Bunch will tend to want to run um, some kind of Mabel coverage. So let's say you're doing this right here. You know, this is your setup. Let's say this is your setup, right? 
Um, it's a very simple setup, right? But if you take a look at this in route, look at how deep, look at how deep it gets back on that. Now I threw that a little bit, a little bit too late, but you see how open it gets um, depending on the routes on the field. So that's another thing. Now one other thing we didn't talk about is you, the flipping of the bunch. So you see how fast this bunch can flip. So let's say you have a slot apprentice, or you have hot route master, or you know whatever. You can flip this bunch and do something like this out of this play curl flat. And this is one of my um, favorite plays to run in the entire game. But all we're going to do is this setup right here. And then again, I like to use the whip route, but you can do anything that you want. Literally anything that you want. So let's say you wanted to take Godwin and you wanted to put him on a delay fade. So now you have you know, a delay fade on the backside, and then you have these, these, these four routes on the field that are super, super effective. Take a look at what that tight end route is doing to a corner. And that's not even with good route running. If you have good route running there, I mean, that route is amazing. It's, it's unbelievable against that man coverage. So anyways, that's another little tactic that you can use. Um, divide wheel. This play, um, what I like to do with this is this is a really, really good play for zone. Um, it's, it's okay against man, um, but it's a really, really good play for zone, specifically Mabel coverage. And basically what you have is you have a seam wheel to Farnett, right? You see how it's inverted, so it's going to get a better cut up field. So then what you can do off of this is, again, you can do whatever you really wanted to. But essentially what I like to do is I like to just simply take Mike Evans and put him on a slant route uh, and, the, and then run the play. I just motion Brown out a couple steps. And what you'll see here is against zone, if, they, if they're not playing cover two, if they're not playing cover two, Brown's going to be open every single time. Every single time. They have to play cover two. Well, everybody knows that gun bunch, like nobody wants to face cover two. So, or nobody wants to run cover two against gun bunch. So this motion out right here, I mean, it's I like to high point it and secure catch it on the sideline like that. That's my preferred way to do it. I think it's the safest way to do it. But, again, you can do it other ways as well. So let's say that I shaded coverage down uh, and take the hard flats from the safeties now instead of the, the linebackers. Same thing should happen, especially if you're streaking the tight end up the seam. The streak of the tight end up the seam is critical because it's going to help you beat cover three and all of that stuff. But as you can see here, and, okay, he does get me there. The, the hard flat does come over and get me, so good job by the defense. So what I've got to do now is show you another, uh, another read of this. But again, you know, if they do something like that, you know, really it's it's a detriment because if you take a look at the three three five, if you look at this defense, this is bunch, this is empty bunch. This is how auto flip defends empty bunch. Auto flip puts the bunch on the as the weak side because there's two receivers on the left side. To me, that's huge. Because now it doesn't automatically put that outside third or that inside third of the scene. So if they crash down right there, then you've got an inside pass lead. You, you should be able to hit that inside pass lead. Now, right there, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger. But if you have Gunslinger and you inside pass lead that, that's probably a completion. Uh, probably a completion. Now, obviously, are they going to use with that? Yeah, probably. You know, Are they going to use the tight end? Yeah, probably. But what that's going to leave open is this backside slant. The other thing is, if you take a look at this, this running back route comes wide open. Now, I need to lowball that. But that running back route, it comes open. Once you see zone coverage, the running back's literally running wide open. I mean, he is, he is like, please throw me the ball. Please throw me the ball. I mean, that's, that's how it's going to work. Because this out route is going to pull all of the flats right there. That's the low ball that I'm talking about, right there to Fournette. Okay? So there's that. Um, the other thing is I wanted to talk just briefly about what this does against man coverage. Now, I know that Alexander has his ability light lit up or whatever, but let's take a look here at how this route does, this little speed out route. Um, it doesn't it, – it's okay. Um, if you have route tech on it or you have a, a route running ability on it, it's going to be a lot better. But you've got curl flat. Um, a lot you can do with this play. I mean, there's just so much you can do with this offense. Like, like having this guy in the slot here gives you so many capabilities from where you can motion him. You can motion him different directions. So, for example, like, let's say I wanted to bring Mike Evans into a compression set right here. I can do that, you know, and now we can run routes off of that. So, for example, one thing that I like to do is, is I'll do something like this right here. Streak corner concept. And as you can see there, Mike Evans beats the man coverage. So a lot that you can do that most people don't even think about. Like when you motion, let's say, for example, you motion uh, Chris Godwin. Let's say you put him on a crossing route, and then you motion him to the right. 
Now you have a crossing route concept. So now you could basically just streak. Um, you, you could drag Mike Evans, streak Gronk. Now this concept right here is going to kill man-to-man -man coverage. I mean, absolutely kill it over the top. So that's just a good read. So anyways, all that to say, that's a little bit about the empty bunch. I think this offense has a lot of potential, especially with what you can do with the delay fades. We didn't dive too deep into... Um, we didn't dive too deep into Z spot and go. Uh, the one thing with Z spot and go that you want to do is if you smart route this route to Mike Evans, and then if you take Godwin, put him on a zig, you can snap Godwin while he's in motion, which I think is huge too, because it basically allows both of them to beat man to man coverage typically. Now, they won't always beat it, but as a general rule, with this right here, they will beat man coverage if you get that motion right there. Okay, and then obviously your C route on the sideline, user catch that. Very, very good read. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full gun bunch tight end offensive ebook, that link is in the description. It's the best offense in the game. It'll teach you how to put up 700 yards passing in a game. It's such a good passing offense, and this formation can be a nice complement to that bunch tight end. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, and we will see you guys on tonight's stream at 10 p.m. Eastern Time.